so much. Um, this is extraordinary. And when I was a child, I dreamt of winning an Olympic gold medal, and I wanted to be on the podium with my pony, tears streaming down my face as the national anthem played, but I never, ever in my life had the temerity to imagine that one day BAFTA would honour me with an award named after Richard Dimbleby, one of Britain's finest ever all-round presenters, and I could not be prouder. But I am extremely well aware that this would never have happened if it wasn't for the magic of last summer. Um, the London 2012 Olympics and Paralympics, I think, brought out something in all of us, an incredible positive energy, a feeling that we could do anything, and we did, as we watched people strive for excellence. And I'm so grateful to the BBC and to Channel 4 for putting me at the heart of both of those events and trying to share with you the emotions, bring those people to life, make you feel what they were feeling. And one of the outstanding images for me of the Olympic Games was when Kat Copeland and Sophie Hosking won the lightweight double skulls. And Kat Copeland said, we've done it. We've won the Olympics. And I can turn to my home team, my personal support, mum, dad, and Alice, and say, we've done it. We won a BAFTA. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. We knew you were going to win. Yes. You did say you'd planned a speech. I know, I left out a whole chunk though. I left out the bit where I said it was all down to the team behind me, which it was, um, and all the people who'd worked at the BBC on the Olympics and Channel 4 for the Paralympics, and that I wanted to share it with them, and I forgot that bit. <laughs> yeah, but it's... And then I got weepy at the end, yes. It's quite an emotional thing oh, though. Oh, huge, and my parents were there, and Alice was there, and it was just amazing. Really? Oh, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I mean, did you start working, is it 95 in television? Yeah, I, I left university in 93, started working in 94 on radio. And then I think the first telly I did was 90, I think it was 95, it might have been 96. Um, and it probably was Babington Horse Trials, I should think, was the first thing I did. Yeah, so yeah. it just shows you how much you've done since then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, looking back at all these amazing events yeah. you've covered as well, is there any one that sticks out? Oh, London. Out? Oh, London, totally. I mean, that's the thing. To, to win this... Um, for what will be the highlight of my career, whatever happens, is amazing. I've oh, gone again. <laughs> Got to pull myself together. Right, it's absolutely fantastic. Be grown up. Yes, no, lovely. Very big lovely. night lovely. for you. So, um, looking ahead uh, as well, is there anything that you have your sights set on? Any event God, you want no, to do? No, I can't even think of anything else. <laughs> Just, um, I, you, you know, I suppose. Like any, um, I, I have to try and think like, like um, Olympic athletes, and they set themselves the next target. And um, I've always you know, like to work out of my comfort zone and try and do things that push me and stretch me and are intellectually challenging. Um, and yeah, I, I'm starting with BT Sport and I'll continue the racing with Channel 4 and I've got various projects for the BBC. So I couldn't be luckier, you know, I'm a complete tart. I'll work for anyone, <laughs> but that's the life of a freelancer. And I'm just so pleased that I got the chance to work on both of those events and that I have been honoured with this. Yeah, there's a lot of people that aspire to do exactly what you do. Have you got any little tips for them if they're starting out? Um, I would say st stick at the beginning to the things that make your heart sing, you know, and, and you'll find other things, but stick to the thing that, that makes you. You know, in, in Billy Elliot, when he's asked, what, what does dance do for you? And he said, it's like electricity. That's what you've got to feel. Don't do something because you think it's going to make you famous. Do it because you love it. Yeah. Um, it's lovely that you've got all your family here as yeah. well. I presume you want to go and enjoy your yeah. evening. Okay, well, you've got Thanks. photos and Thank everything, you. so enjoy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Lovely Thank you, you so much.